How will the Bengaluru Skydeck project affect plans for second airport in South Bengaluru? Bengaluru, the bustling capital of Karnataka and a major technology hub in India, is grappling with increasing demands on its infrastructure. The city's rapid growth has necessitated the planning of a second airport to handle future air traffic and cargo needs. Concurrently, a proposed Skydeck project is generating debate over its potential impact on aviation plans. This video delves into the chronology, technical details, and strategic considerations surrounding these developments, providing a comprehensive analysis of the situation. For those viewers who are interested in more information regarding the Bengaluru Skydeck project, please find links to two videos previously uploaded in this channel via the I icon button as well as within the playlist available at the end of this video. Details for this video has been gathered from news reports of July 19, 2024, July 10, 2024 and June 26, 2024. Hi friend. Welcome back to SciTech Buzz One channel. We wish to sincerely thank all the new subscribers of this channel. Background and Current Developments Skydeck Project Karnataka Deputy Chief Minister D.K. Shivakumar had announced plans to build a 250-meter tall skydeck in Bengaluru. This ambitious project aims to enhance the city's tourism appeal by providing a panoramic view of the surroundings. The proposed location for the Skydeck is a 25-acre vacant plot in Hemajepura, southwest Bengaluru. The decision, made during a meeting led by Chief Minister Siddharmaya, highlights the government's commitment to developing new tourist attractions in the city. The Skydeck's significant height could potentially interfere with aviation operations. An observation deck of this magnitude imposes airfield height restrictions, affecting areas within a 20-kilometer radius. This radius includes key regions in south and southwest Bengaluru, such as Electronic City, Jigani, and Banagata Road. Authorities are considering three potential sites for the Skydeck, Hemajepura, the Jnanabharathi campus, and Kamagata. Hemajepura this site is managed by NICE and has received approval from state cabinet members due to its strategic location. It offers a scenic view of Turahali Forest and is conveniently located near NICE Road, with the Thalagatapura metro station approximately 5 kilometers away. Chnanabharathi Campus, spanning 1,201 acres, this location was rejected because the presence of a tall structure might distract from the academic environment of the campus. Kamagata, although this site has a new helipad built for Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit in mid-2022, it was deemed too congested and had limited access, making it unsuitable for the Skydeck project. Second Airport Plans The necessity for a second airport in Bengaluru stems from the growing demands on Kempegowda International Airport, Kia. Karnataka Infrastructure Minister M. B. Patil has been proactive in addressing this need. Patil announced plans to convene a meeting to decide on the location of the second airport, considering passenger load and connectivity to Kia as primary factors. The exclusivity clause with Bangalore International Airport Limited, BAL, which prevents the establishment of another airport within a 150-kilometer radius, expires in 2032. This clause's end will allow the development of a new airport by 2033. Possible Locations 1. Sarjapur and Kankapura Road. These areas are strong contenders if passenger load is the priority. Located in the southern part of Bengaluru, they offer significant space for development and connectivity to major urban areas. 2. Tumkuru and Dabaspet. These locations will be prioritized if connectivity to Kia is the main concern. Tumkuru, situated to the northwest, provide strategic advantages with its existing infrastructure and potential for regional development. Patil has initiated the planning process early, considering the time required for land acquisition and compensation for landowners. This proactive approach is crucial given the complexities involved in establishing a new airport. The government also needs to assess whether the exclusivity clause with BAL applies to Tamil Nadu's decision to build an airport in Hosur. Technical and Strategic Considerations Impact of Skydeck on Airport Plans 
the 250-meter-tall sky deck could significantly impact plans for the second airport. Aviation experts suggest that the height of the observation deck might interfere with flight paths and airfield height restrictions within a 20-kilometer radius. This restriction affects parts of south and southwest Bengaluru, including Electronic City, Jigani, and Banagata Road. To avoid these conflicts, experts recommend considering the western part of Bengaluru for the new airport, specifically between Tumkuru Road and Mysore Road. This region falls outside the Skydeck S interference zone, making it a viable option for the second airport. Lobbying and Political Considerations The proposal for a second international airport has ignited lobbying among Congress MLAs. Legislators representing assembly seats around Bengaluru are advocating for the new airport to be situated in their constituencies, highlighting the potential economic benefits and regional development. Home Minister G. Parmeshwar, representing Kortagera in Tumkuru, Parmeshwar advocates for Sira in the district or areas between Pavagda and Chitradurga, proposing an allocation of 8,000 acres for the project. Deputy Chief Minister D. K. Shivakumar, Shivakumar supports the Bidadi or Harahali industrial area, emphasizing the potential for industrial growth and connectivity. Magadi MLA H. C. Balakrishna, Balakrishna proposes Magadi, Solar, or Dabaspet, highlighting the economic benefits and regional development an airport could bring. Urbanists and experts have also suggested reopening HAL Airport for short haul flights. They recommend considering locations between Bengaluru and Mysore, such as Badadi, for the new airport due to its strategic advantages and potential for interstate collaboration. Historical Context and Future Projections Kempagauda International Airport, Kia Kia, established under a 25-year exclusivity agreement with BAL, has become the third busiest airport in India. It handled over 4 lakh tons of cargo and 3.7 crore passengers last year. The exclusivity clause with BAL, which prevents the establishment of another airport within a 150-kilometer radius, expires in 2032. This clause's end necessitates the planning for a second airport to accommodate future growth. Industry Recommendations The Bangalore Chamber of Industry and Commerce, BCIC, first recommended a new airport in 2020, anticipating that Kia would reach maximum capacity by 2030. They emphasized that a second airport would enhance affordability, competitiveness, and connectivity. It would also promote inclusive development in Bengaluru's rapidly expanding southern and southwest districts, especially along the Bengaluru-Mysore route. Feasibility and Planning Feasibility Study Karnataka Infrastructure Development Minister M. B. Patil has directed the preparation of a feasibility study for the second airport. This study will evaluate potential locations, considering factors such as land availability, connectivity, and future growth potential. The allocation of traffic between Kia and the proposed second airport is a critical aspect of the feasibility study. This involves determining the viability of nearby airports and ensuring that the new airport has sufficient acreage for current operations and future expansion. Conclusion The development of a second airport in Bengaluru is a complex and multifaceted process, influenced by technical, political, and strategic considerations. The proposed Skydeck project adds another layer of complexity, potentially limiting the location options for the new airport. However, with proactive planning and thorough feasibility studies, Bengaluru can develop a second airport that meets its growing demands and ensures sustainable growth for the future. The state government, in consultation with industry experts and stakeholders, must carefully navigate these challenges to achieve an optimal outcome for the city's infrastructure development. The careful consideration of various factors, from technical details to political lobbying, will be crucial in successfully establishing a second airport in Bengaluru. Stay tuned for further developments on these projects. Do let us know your thoughts on the subject in the comments section. Please share this video amongst your family members, friends, and in your social media network. Don't forget to subscribe to SciTech Buzz One channel. Thank you.